what's this higher power of God concept all about in recovery? People talk about spirituality. Do you struggle with it? Do you believe you have an understanding? Regardless, I think if you uh, check out the next clip, you know, you, it might open your mind a little, maybe give you some ideas and, and bring to mind some things that you've never thought of before. Check it out. All familiar with the third step? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'll just give you the quick rundown, man, what I was going to have you guys do, but it's a good learning opportunity, <coughs> too. Um, I like to, uh, who knows what the third step says? You have all that. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, go. Be better, right, man? <laughs> what is it? I uh, made a decision to turn our, life, our will over to the care of God. As we, understood, as we understood them in little spaghetti letters, also yeah. known as italicies. <laughs> you know, we might misunderstand them too, right? right. <laughs> and that's where I'm going with this. Um, so, the third step I want to talk about just real quick. It talks about, and this is on page 63 of the big book. Um, you know, there's this huge misconception a lot of times we talk about higher power, giving up your will, all that stuff. And then honestly, like when, when I stepped into this, this program, man, I'm like, to give up my will, like I'm taught we're supposed to be men, right? And drive with willpower and 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 self-propulsion, basically, and strength. You know, that's what we're taught, a lot of us, when we're younger dudes. Um, just instilled in us. Work hard, you know, and, and come out on top. But so, with that being said, like, I, I came in here with this misunderstanding of what, what this really meant. We made a decision to turn our will and our life over, right? All you guys, technically speaking, in my opinion, you all have already made a decision to let another place manage your life for a little while, right? Yeah, sir. So, plain and simple. It's a, you've already made a decision that you couldn't do this by yourself and that you needed some help, which is cool, man. Addiction, alcoholism, we're good at a lot of things in life. This is the one thing that I really needed help with. Everything else I put my mind to, I can do. Like, that ain't too bad, right? You know, I suck at one thing in life. That's staying sober. So I listen to somebody else's plan. Um, so with that being said, you know, there, there's that made decision to turn our will and our life over to the care of God. But what does that mean? You know, I, I went to Sunday school as a kid. And I'm like, oh, so it's supposed to be Jesus. And I just do that. For me personally, and I want to make it really clear, dude, if, if, if you believe Jesus Christ is a savior or Buddha or Muhammad or whatever, roll with it. Like... The cool thing about this program is no one's here to tell you what you have to believe in. Like, we just tell you to, to believe, man. And, and my sponsor asked me a question. He's like, Ben, do you believe I have a higher power that works for me? And I'm like, dude, if you say you do, yeah, I guess. Like, he said, well, just believe that I believe for now. I'm like, all right, it worked for this, dude. Cool, whatever. Because I didn't want anything to do with the God thing. You know, it's kind of the point where I was, like, probably ready not to believe in God. Or if I did, I was like, dude, God sucks because look at my life right now, right? Look what I've been handed. I'm a drug addict. This this is terrible. So um, I wanted to uh, throw this out there on page 63. And, and it's about our, our own interpretation. And this is what, what I love about Alcoholics Anonymous, the 12-step programs. Again, is it tells us to believe. It doesn't tell us what to believe in. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, in my opinion, you guys have the belief that maybe Rock Recovery or the Oasis Club or whatever, or someone here has something to offer you that you couldn't give to yourself, right? It, so, and, so don't make it any more complicated than it is, is what I'm getting at. If you don't understand what the hell's going on, that's perfect. But I'm gonna read this to you. Um, when we sincerely took such a position, all sorts of remarkable things followed. We had a new employer, Employers Capital E. Being all powerful, he provided what we needed if we kept close to him and performed his work well. If you don't like the word God, throw in the word love, man. You know, there, there's so many different things we could say. The spirit of the universe, karma, whatever you want to call it. Established on such a footing, we became less and less interested in ourselves, our little plans and designs. More and more, we became interested in seeing what, seeing what we could contribute to life. If you want to get something out of this place, bring something to it. You know, is what I always say. Every one of you has something to offer. I like to make that real clear. I actually, I said that about Charlie last night at the meeting. You know, I've... I've Got eight and a half years of sobriety. Charlie has four months, and I left that meeting like super inspired by what Charlie shared. I was like, dude, his his share last night was 
straight up spiritual gangster style. Um, it was it was awesome. Like I left there like glowing. Um, so as we felt new power flow in, as we enjoyed peace of mind, as we discovered we could face life successfully, as we become conscious of his presence, we began to lose our fear of today, tomorrow, or the hereafter we were reborn. We were now at step three. So check it out, guys. I'm going to read you the book's suggestion for step three. We were now at step three. Many of us said to our makers, we understood them. So my sponsor said, I got to say this. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties, that victory over them may bear witness to those I would love, or help of thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Dude, that sounds like Shakespeare, right? I don't talk like that in real life. You know, these dies and these, God, I offer myself to thee to build with me, right? Or, yeah, look at me for that. Bro, I'm getting dramatic, getting okay, into okay. it. Okay. Here's the thing, it is for me, uh, you know, oftentimes I hear, and I like to be myth busters when it comes to 12-step programs. You know, I, I hear oftentimes people are, their sponsor tells them, you have to memorize this prayer and utilize it every day. Actually, that's not true. If you follow the directions as written in the book, it says, we thought well before taking this step, making sure we were ready, that we could at last abandon ourselves utterly to him. It says here, we found it very desirable to take this spiritual step with an understanding person, such as our wife, or spiritual advisor, a.k.a. sponsor. So we find it desirable. But here's, here's the important part. But it's better to meet God alone than with one who might misunderstand. Let me ask you guys a question. I can use all the, wor the words in the universe, right? Will you all, will anybody here ever understand my higher power and what I feel in my heart? No. Nope. There's not enough words in the universe. Point is, technically then, won't you all misunderstand my higher power? And if you go back to a sentence, it says, but it's better to meet God alone than with one who might misunderstand. Technically speaking, if you look at it, what's it saying, what's it not saying, everybody's going to misunderstand. So... Here's where the real instructions come in. And this is why, of course, you know, memorizing that Shakespeare prayer called the third step, you know, is absolutely optional. If you like the way it sounds, if that's how you talk, that's cool. But, you know, when I, when I got with uh, my higher power, I'm like, yo, cooking some eggs here Sunday morning. My sponsor told me I had to do this. What's up? I hope we're good by now. You know, uh, I know I stole some things and hurt some people. Don't hit me with the lightning bolt, right? Like... That's how I started. I'm like, all right, I'll try again tomorrow. Thanks, peace out, you know. Um, but it says here, these are the true instructions of the third step. The wording was, of course, quite optional, so long as we express the idea, voicing it without reservation. So what's that telling me? What can I do with that third step prayer? Change all the words you want, as long as the meaning is the same. My man, all the answers are that. So, it makes it sound a little weird when they say do third set prayer to me. You no, know, you're the only one with your making up your own words. Dude, I, I've been dying to do that one day, like when, at the end of the meeting, and like, yo, God, what's up? I'm here. And everyone else. So, um, so, I mean, and again, dude, you don't have to use the word God if you don't want to. You can say whatever you want, you know. Um, and, and But the more you practice, the more you come into your own understanding, which is what this is all about. Um, just being open-minded. Hey, man, there's something greater than me. Heroin's a power greater than me. It kicked my butt, right? Oh, yeah. I know there's powers greater than me. That proves it. But um, so write it in your own words. Like our sponsorship family, we have guys. And that's what I was going to have you guys do today if you couldn't work out, is rewrite, sit down with the book, and rewrite in your own words what that prayer means to you, like on a page. If you really take the time to break it down, like another good example, we should we do the Lord's Prayer at the end of, of AA and NA meetings, right? Have you ever sat down and thought about what it actually means in your own words? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rather than just, Our Father, yes. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, peace, you know? Um, and, and let me read this last part to you. This was only a beginning, though if honestly and humbly made an effect, I have this next word highlighted, bright yellow, sometimes... A very great one was felt at once. So in effect, sometimes a very great one was felt at once. If it's sometimes, what does that mean happens on the other end of it? You're going to use it. Sometimes it doesn't happen either, <laughs> right? So 
here I was, like, I, I, I said this third step prayer. I'm like, yo, God, I'm here. I offer myself to thee. And I'm like, I was expecting it to feel like it hit a crack, and it didn't. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I was very let down. I was expecting, like, this spiritual, like, poof, implosion, right? And I was like, well, that was lame. All that happened there is my sponsor tried to hold my hand and told me to get on my knees. I'm like, oh, man. So, uh, it was all comfortable. Point is, like, not like that. <laughs> yeah. Point is, is, uh, you know, it's sometimes a very great one with fellow ones. Give it a shot, man, is all it's saying. Like, nobody's here to push this stuff on you. Our job is to, to lay the tools at your feet for your inspection, right? You can pick them up and use them. You don't like that tool? Leave that there. Pick up the one over here. You know, check it out for yourself. Inspect it. Be open-minded. That's all you got to do. Be open-minded and willing. Try some new things. See where some other people might be right on the, on the retrospect, too. Watch how people behave that you don't like. We, Charlie and I were just talking about this. He found his sponsor because why? Because the group that I was at was trying to make a funny towards him. They were trying to pick on him a little bit because they think he's a bit arrogant. And he was a phenomenal sponsor, yes, wasn't he? he? Was. Young guy and a, a group of all old dudes. And the <laughs> old dude's picking on him. And sent another old dude to his lap. Yep. So, and look at the outcome. Yep. This beautiful man. You really. know what I found out yesterday? I am the first one that has gone all the way through their steps with him. Get out of here. That's yeah, nice. Everybody keeps quitting. I almost cried last for a reason. Mm -hmm. yep. So, uh. Yeah, they used to be. We'll get into this workout. I just wanted to throw it out there. That's what we would have done. Hey man, I recommend going home if you want to, <coughs> you don't have to. Taking a look at this prayer and rewriting it in your own words. I mean, for me, it, it kind of says love and service, man. Did I show everybody some love and did I try to do some service for the world today? You know, and uh, I start doing those things and karma, if that's what you want to call it, things start coming back. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. And it's funny you say that because I, I could tell right when you started talking about rewriting that, <coughs> you're my grand sponsor because that's exactly what I was told to do. Mm -hmm. Go home and rewrite this prayer. And then when, I, when we came back and met up that afternoon, he said, say your prayer. Grand sponsor. Like I said earlier, can't choose your family. Nope. <laughs>